Hello and welcome to Mahika Devlog number 19. Ah, how time flies. It's almost Valentine's Day, so hoping everyone is feeling the love. For me and the team, we've been feeling the love from your feedback and we've been busy taking in those warm comments to improve Mahika. Thank you again for those feedback. I, you know, we really appreciate them. Now, this is going to be another quick update, so let's get right to it. First, we added back the clothes to the player, so making her look uh, more decent. <laughs> Shout out to our pixel artist interns for helping us make those clothes. Uh, there's a couple more fashion stuff that we want to bring in, but for now, it's all about gameplay. So, let me pick up our weapons. Cool. Ah, let's not be behind that gem. Awesome. Now, first improvement. So we tweaked version 1 of the enemy AI attack pattern. So when the player enters the enemy attack zone, the enemy will immediately attack. Uh, let me show it to you. Let me enter the attack zone of that one. And oh my god, it's now actually attacking me. So whenever I enter, it immediately attacks after it chases and gets into the attack zone it will just attack me now the behavior is the same as what I've been experiencing playing dungeon souls so after the first attack the enemy cools down and wait for a few seconds to attack again now we made the cooldown customizable so that you know we can change cooldown period uh, per enemy so as you can see here ah I don't want the I want the uh, green slime where's the green slime the green slime has an attack cooldown of two seconds two one two so it's not as aggressive as the uh, red slime so the red slime I think is 1.5 seconds Boom, and I'm dead let me go back and revive myself while I think the steel slime is very aggressive the cooldown is just one second what what yeah it is one second so as you can see I'm dead already let me revive myself again. There's gonna be more revival at this uh, demo. Cool, so that's uh, the first uh, tweak that we've uh, made uh, for the enemy AI. This is just version 1. I'm actually working on version 2 and it will look kind of funky once version 2 comes out. Uh, the next uh, improvement is the knockback effect. So the knockback effect uh, I've added it to the weapon and the enemy so the weapon has a knockback power which is the duration of knockback while enemies and players will have knockback resistance now to give you an example how the knockback works so whenever a weapon with knockback capability hits a target and the target can be knocked back it will calculate the difference between knockback power or duration less the knockback resistance and then execute the effect so slimes doesn't have any knockback resistance that's what I made them to be while the zombies have some knockback resistance so let me give you an example of how this one works with a weapon so I have my trusty old sword again let me lure you here and while I attack it knocks you back Boom. And slimes doesn't have any resistance to it. And they will just get knocked back. Ah! Almost. Let me get one of the zombies. Zombies, as I mentioned, has some resistance. So they are not knocked back further than the others. Ah! No! One more. Ah, okay. 
<laughs> I'm gonna revive myself. Da -da -da. Seems like it's not going quickly as I planned. Anyways, next update. The next update actually is the stun effect. Now the stun effect, although it actually needs more polishing, it has the same settings as the knockback. So you also have a duration and a resistance for weapons and enemies and players. Now I'm, I think you've seen that we have three swords now. Let me talk about these swords. So the first sword you already know, it's just a simple sword. Um, I actually added a knockback effect and a stun effect for the sword. But I want to try to diversify and see how the effects work. Number two is a gray sword. Now let me call this sword the obsidian sword. So it has a stronger knockback effect, has less stun duration, but it has more damage. Number three, which is the blue sword, or I'll call it the ice sword, uh, has no knockback effect. So it won't knock back the enemies. It has less damage, but it does have a longer stun duration. So let's uh, check the effects. So you've seen the effect of Sword 1. It has a combination of both. Um, and to be honest, there is some stun effect once it's knocked back and it tries to get back and chase the player. Uh, I think I put it as 0.5 seconds of uh, stun after it was knocked back but it just makes it a little bit more uh what you call this uh natural in feeling like uh, if a monster uh has a knockback effect on it it was uh stunned for just a split second and then gets back on its feet as i said this teal here doesn't have any uh, stun effect. It's immune to stun effect, this teal slime. So let's uh, try it out. So it really doesn't uh, stops after it was knocked back. It just goes on and tries to chase the player. While if I go to one of these slimes, like the red one, there is a possibility that it will stop for a split second. There we go. And it will boom stop and well dies <laughs> after that uh, very powerful blow so that's how the uh, obsidian uh, sword works let's try out the ice sword now the ice sword should be stunning the enemy but not knocking it back there you go Ooh. actually a cheat sword because you're stunning it and you actually can just continuously attack it. Ah! Cool. Now, these swords are actually good for individual combat, but when it comes to group com you know, <laughs> like you have a horde of uh, uh, zombies, the, let's just say the obsidian is better. Because it ah, knocks it back. <laughs> Let's revive ourselves again. Doo -doo -doo. But because, you know, uh, the enemies are now varying in behavior, it makes it more difficult for me to actually fight them all. Hey! <laughs> I can say the difficulty just uh, is a whole new level. Oh, cool. It's now night time. So those are uh, all of the tweaks that I've, we've made. Uh, and lastly, you know, bug fixes. You know, people uh, have seen some of the bugs, like one overlapping enemies when chasing the player. So as you can see now, the enemies are not overlapping anymore, so I've added some collision uh, uh, sh uh, shapes, collision uh, to the enemies so that they won't overlap. Ah. 
too difficult right now. <laughs> Reviving myself again. And previously, uh, when enemies stop chasing the player because it died, it won't chase it again. And that's another bug that uh, we've seen. So I've fixed that as well. And I'm sure there are a couple more bugs that are here. We've already logged them. We know that they're here. But for the sake of this demo, uh, you know, I just want to show all the ones that we've tweaked and fixed. And hopefully, we have more updates to come by the next week. Awesome. Hope you like this video. And... Uh, keep those feedbacks and comments uh, coming really appreciate them because it will definitely improve how we develop our game uh, stay safe everyone thanks for watching see you all on the next vlog